There are good, bad, and ugly outcomes with the BBL. Hi, my name is Angel. I love to do my makeup. I love to do my own makeup. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. You shy now? Yeah. Uh-uh, stop. Well, let me in. Wait a Stop, stop. You, you have to squeeze in here. Don't touch my setup. Come on. Come Why on. my baby can't make no videos? She can't make a video. I told her to sit there, watch mommy. She said you can't, you won't let her. Reagan. Why don't you let her make her videos first? No, because she wants to do my makeup. Then my makeup going to be messed up. What you want to do, Reagan? I'm gonna make a color. You make your video. You do your makeup first, then do mommy makeup. Okay, so you you do your makeup over there. So we'll get yours. That mommy makeup. Yeah, so I can get her you set up too. Here, Move, get your big ass. <laughs> <Man. laughs> Where's the equipment? Where's Move, her equipment? Get it. Move. <laughs> Stop. You watching, mommy? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Since I started posting videos back in January, I think my channel has grown 800 plus subscribers. So I'm finally almost at a thousand subscribers and I know I'll get there by the end of the year. Also, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for constantly watching my videos and commenting and giving my videos a thumbs up because I know I haven't been posting consistently. And I just wanna thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos and subscribe to my channel, even though I'm not putting content out there like I should be. So pretty much today what I want to talk about is the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to BBLs. Because everybody thinks, oh, I'm gonna get a BBL, I'm gonna be snatched, I'm gonna be a video vixen, I'm gonna be an Instagram model. And that is not always the case. Um, to be honest with you, that is, has not been the case for me. Yes, I look different than I looked before, but at the same time, you really can't tell unless you, unless you knew me in high school, you really can't tell that I had any work done. I don't want people to watch my videos and be like, oh my God, I'm gonna go get snatched, I'm gonna go get surgery, I'm gonna get lipo, I'm gonna get fat injection. I'm just here to let you know how things turned out for me. I know whenever I was out um, and about and I was looking on YouTube and I was doing my research, I wanted to find videos and I wanted to hear success stories. But all the time, you're not gonna find negative stories on YouTube. And I'm not here to put out any negative information, but I do want you to know that there are good bad and ugly outcomes with the BBL. I'm not gonna say my BBL was necessarily a thumbs down, but I could have got more done than I actually did. Um, I already have like a medium sized frame. I'm not too big and I'm not too small, but I just feel like a little more could have been added to my bottom. Um, but I have really, really small legs. So I can't really say, oh, I should have got more done because I don't know the outcome. I don't know if I would have been, I don't know if I would have been um, disproportionate or not. So I can't really say, oh, I should have got more done, but I, that's how I feel deep down inside. I feel like I should have got more done, but I can't really say that because I don't know how it would have turned out. I know how it turned out now and I like my results and I'm happy with them, but I just feel like at the same time, a little bit more could have been done. So if you're gonna go out and spend 4,000 or $5,000 for a surgery, that money could be used for something else. So that money could be in your savings account. You can use it, put a down payment on the car. There's so much that can be done with that amount of money. So if you're gonna invest that type of money on your body, then number one, the number one thing is you should take care of your body. I was always self-conscious about my body and I would watch the things that I eat. I wouldn't drink sodas, I wouldn't drink juices. I would um, work out, at least try to work out at least three times a week. I probably worked out three times since I had my surgery. I actually had a PT test, cause you know I'm in the military. I actually had a PT test and I failed my PT test because I haven't been working out. I feel like if I was taking care of my body this whole time, then I will look a lot better than I am. So. What I was saying about BBLs are there are pros, there are cons, there's good, there's bad, there's ugly. One of the bad things is that you expect to have a certain outcome and this vision or dream or whatever you have in your in your mind, it doesn't deliver. Yes, my waist is slimmer. I did have a flat belly in the beginning, but I really couldn't tell because I was always swollen. But my belly is not flat, not even a little bit. 
it's flatter than it was. I don't have a little fupa, whatever you want, guys want to call it. I don't have that anymore, but it's not flat. Yes, I can wear certain things that I couldn't wear before, but my stomach is not flat. So you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna have this flat stomach, I'm gonna have these hips, I'm gonna have this slim waist. Yes, that's that's what everybody wants out of surgery. That's what I hope everybody gets out of surgery. If you're gonna put this money, you're gonna put your life on the line, then you should get what you want out of surgery. But that's always not the case. So I just wanna let you guys know, um, I'm, really, I'm pretty much here to show you my body, show you my results after, how many months has it been? I had my surgery in January, so what month is it now 11 so it's been 10 months since i had my surgery so it's almost a year and they say once you hit the one year mark then that's your results are final that's how you're going to look forever um so i'm pretty much at that point and i've noticed a little a, a few changes since i had my surgery so the last time i talked to you guys probably was like three months post-op now i am 10 months post-op so since then i would definitely say i have fluffed out a lot um, when I say fluff out, I mean like my butt has got like a little bit rounder and it's like fluffy and it's not hard anymore. So um, I will say that I noticed that and that's pretty much it. Like I just feel like I don't know if I'm gaining the weight back or I didn't get that much fat taken out to begin with because my stomach is not as flat as I want it to be. I still have love handles. I'm still flubby and I just I just want you guys to know like you're not gonna the results that you you're thinking like you're gonna have to have more than one round like you're not gonna be able to go in surgery and come out and be snatched immediately some people have surgery two and three times to get the body that they want so I do know that if I were to go back for a second round I'll be a little bit closer to to what I want to be right so I wanted to show you guys a view of my body so I'm going to show you guys my left side my right side and then my back side one of the things with the BBL, which is actually one of the cons I was telling you guys about, one of the ugly things is that you're not gonna be proportionate. So your left side is not gonna look like your right side, your right cheek is not gonna look like your left cheek. And in my situation, um, my left hip is fuller than my right hip. And you, you wouldn't know that unless I were to tell you or unless you're like really, really observant. And I have not had anybody ever come to me and say, oh, that hip is bigger than the other one. No, I've never had that situation. So. As you can see, this hip is a lot more curvier and this one is a lot more flat. So like you can just tell how this, look at this hand, like this hand is going curved and this one is like going flat down, straight down. So I'm gonna show you guys my right side first, which is a lot more flatter, not as round. And then I'll show you guys my favorite side, which is a lot curvier and round. And then I will show you guys my butt. You know, a lot of people were saying, oh, we haven't seen any pictures of your butt, this and that and that. But here's my butt, finally, you guys can see it. I love my butt, but my stomach is just, I don't know. I really, really wanted, like at one point, I only wanted to get lipo versus getting a BBL because I felt like, oh, if I get my stomach flat, I can wear bikinis, I can wear two pieces, I can, um, you know, I'm gonna look, my hips are gonna look bigger, my butt's gonna look bigger naturally because I'm gonna get liposuction. But I did have liposuction and I had that liposuction transferred to my butt and my stomach is still big. So that's one of the things I wanna show you, my stomach, y'all. I just wanna show you my stomach. I think this is how my stomach looks. It is, it's huge. So this is my stomach after liposuction and fat transfer. So, does it not look like I still have fat that could have been transferred? Look at like, just look at this. Like just, I don't, I don't know. And I started noticing my stomach get bigger probably about two months ago. I mentioned to one of my surgery sisters that out of nowhere I woke up and my stomach was just huge one day. So I don't know if this is swelling or I don't know if it's fat. Like I don't know what it is, but my stomach is huge. Well, it's bigger than it should be for somebody who had liposuction. My love handles came back, my back fat came back. So, I mean, don't expect like perfect results when you have surgery. And that's what I'm here to tell you. But whenever I work, I still like, I have hips and my waist is still snatched. Like I still have that hourglass figure. So I'm still able to pull off outfits like this. But I think someone asked me or posted down below. Um, I said, asked something about if my butt can move or I don't know, it was something negative in regards to my butt not being able to move um, like it would if it was natural. So with that being said, I'm gonna post a clip of me moving my butt so you can see that it can move um just so you guys can know like 
once the fat settles, once your butt fluffs out, you can move it the same way you could before. Actually, I couldn't even move my butt before surgery because I didn't have anything to move. So yeah, that actually helped me out. So another thing with BBLs is that it is one of the most riskiest surgeries that there is when it comes to plastic surgery. Um, I know that shortly after I posted my video, one of my BBO update videos, someone commented down below and said, don't go there, a girl just died. So I do wanna comment on that situation. I don't know the ins and the outs. I don't know what happened. Um, I do believe they said that it was a fat embolism. I do believe that they said it was a fat embolism and that is very, very common when it comes to BBLs. So why it's so risky is that whenever the surgeon takes the fat from one part of your body and injects it into another part of your body, they have to be very, very careful that they do not release some of that fat or some of that fat breaks off and travels into your bloodstream and then travels to your heart or your lungs and causes you to stop breathing instantly. So that is not reversible. Um, I don't even think I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if this is one of my questions when I went into surgery, but I think I did ask if they had a crash cart or if they had, um, are they gonna do ACLS? Are they gonna do CPR? Like what are, what are you gonna do if I were to stop breathing and stop if I were to crash right then? They don't do any type of resuscitation. If you stop breathing at in surgery, they're just going to call the ambulance. They're not gonna do anything there to try to bring you back. That is why a BBL is risky. So if you want to, if you are that uncomfortable with your body and you want to have surgery, that is something that you need to pray about, talk to your husband about, talk to your mom about, talk to your boyfriend about, your significant other, whatever the case may be. That is something that you have to talk to your family about and make that decision for yourself. Don't let you two make that decision for you. Don't let your boyfriend make that decision for you. Don't let him be like, oh, I'm going to, be, I'm going to throw you five stacks so you can go ahead and get your butt down, whatever. No, don't let anybody make that decision for you but yourself. My husband did not want me to have the surgery at all. He did not want me to because he felt like I wasn't going to come back home. I just had faith in my surgeon. I had faith in the Lord and I just constantly prayed about it every single day. And one thing that made it really, 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 really easy for me is because I went with two friends. Um, I went with two very close friends, which kind of made everything um, easier for me and probably and easier for them as well. Um, you can die from having a BBL and it's, it's not rare at all so don't let any surgeon tell you that it's rare because it's not rare at all it happens every single day so whether it's in the united states whether it's in the dr miami california it happens every single day people die from bbls almost every single day so it's not rare at all so don't let any surgeon tell you that it's rare um just tell them to be real with you from the jump just let them be real with you um you know you're not going to be proportionate you're not going to be snatched you're not going to be a video vixen unless you had two and three surgeries you're not going to be kim kardashian and you're not going to be what's her name what's the what is her name the what is her name bernice <laughs> you're not going to be bernice so don't 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 think you're going to go have surgery lay on this table wake up and be snatched you're going to be different than you were when you lay down on the table so I'm just here to let you guys know that there are good things that come out of BBL and there are bad things that come out from a BBL. Um, like I said, I went with two other friends and their results are amazing. They are amazing. I have had one child and my results are different, possibly because I've had one child, but at the same time, we were all the same size. I was actually smaller than them, um, but I still came out with a stomach and I still came out with love handles and everything else. So everybody's body is different. So you're not gonna come out looking like the next person. So I already put that in my head. You know, if I want the results that I was wanting to get at the beginning, I would have had to have more than one surgery. If you're going to have a BBL, make sure it's something that you want to do for yourself and for yourself only. You don't go out here putting a BBL on a credit card. It's nothing to go in debt for. If you can't pay for it out of pocket, then it might be something you just want to reconsider or think about doing it in the future when you can't pay for it. Save up for it. Don't use your tax money on it. Just if you want to get a BBL, it's do your research, do your research, do your research. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really just wanted to come out to you and show you my results because I know a lot of people say, oh, she didn't show her results, she doesn't show how you look. And now I'm here to show you my results and they're probably not what you were expecting because I told you I'm not snatched. I'm not snatched when I came off the table whenever I did my first video. I did feel like my stomach was flatter than it is right now. Um, 
my butt is bigger than it was whenever I came to you the first time. So my butt is bigger, but my stomach is bigger too. So that's pretty much what I want to show you guys. I just want to let you know the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I do look cute. I'm going to put some, actually I'm going to put, if I do have pictures, I'm going to put some pictures up here right here so you can see how I look in clothes, um, how I look in my bikini and things like that. So you can just see how I look outside of all these clothes that I have on right now. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason I came to you guys is because I wanted you to see my results. Um, if you don't know, I did go to Mia Aesthetics in Miami. My doctor was Dr. Ray Cherapu and, um, yeah, he's still there at Mia Aesthetics. He's still doing surgery there. They do have a lot of new doctors there and I, I don't know. I know I did comment on this. So the death that they had at Mia Aesthetics, somebody was saying, oh, don't go there. They just had a death. Okay. So yes, there was a death at Mia Aesthetics. However... It was the first death at Mia Aesthetics, and they've been open for about two to three years now. Two years, going on three years, I think. Yeah, I think. Um, so that's one death in about three years. And if you look at all these other clinics that are changing their names, they have, they have had six and seven deaths there or more. And they changed their name so it doesn't look like they had that many deaths. So don't let the one death prevent you from going to me aesthetics if you want to go have surgery and you're looking at the death rate at different clinics and i will say overall me aesthetics is going to be the place to go because i could not find any clinic in miami that had less than five deaths and that's why that's why i went to me aesthetics if i were to go back and have surgery again i would definitely go back to me aesthetics um i would definitely go back to dr ray sherry Poo. i would go back to him but I feel like the conversation that I'm going to have with him before surgery is going to be a little more in-depth, intense, and straight to the point. Because when I went into surgery, I was like, uh, I don't know what I want. I don't want a big butt. I want you to throw some of my fat away. I'm going to be real. That's how I was. I was, I was nervous. I was kind of shy. I mean, I just had a lot of things going through my head right there. And he asked me what I wanted, and I couldn't really tell him what I wanted. I was just kind of like, I don't know. I just want to look nice. He asked me if I wanted hips. I said no. So I'm just trying to figure out what was I thinking at the time. Um... But yeah, if I were to go back, I need to talk to him before I actually go on the table so that he can know why I'm not nervous, what I want. Um, I would definitely go back to him. Like I said, the next time I'm going to have a tummy check as well so I can get the flat look that I want. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off because my daughter is playing her Peppa Pig. I don't know, whatever she's doing on her iPad. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short or long, however long it is. And I will talk to you guys next time. I thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about a BBL, if you have any questions about my surgeon or my my um, clinic that I went to, please feel free to reach out to me. Comment down below. Reach out to me on social media or email, and I will get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. What else? <laughs>